Hey, 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 everybody. Here we are with Chelsea Grant from Hidden Acres Photography. Chelsea, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. Good to have you. Thanks. Hidden Acres Photography. Tell us a little bit about your business, please. So I am the owner of Hidden Acres Photography, Chelsea Grant. Um, right now I offer um, three services. Portrait photography is my first service, and that includes engagement, maternity, boudoir, family sessions. Um, and my second um, service that I offer is wedding photography. Um, this includes two shooters um, to ensure that um, every detail of your day is captured. Um, and my third type, um, I just launched it recently, is business photography. Um, so business photography um, includes branding images for social media content, websites, business cards, et cetera. And it also includes headshots, professional headshots. Awesome. And that's why I wanted to get you on here today, because this is uh, all about support local business. You know, we are in COVID. Um, it's now uh, November uh, 2020 and things look a little different. So right. <laughs> I know that you provide an incredible service and because this is, you know, being shared mainly in the business community, um, I know you've got some great business services that you can offer. So tell me a little bit more about that because I'm thinking headshots for sure. For professional sure. headshots. Um, yeah, so I um, can capture content um, that you can uh, use on your websites, your business cards, your social media platforms. Um, so this content uh, includes your products, your site of business, employees, um, your staff um, at work. Um, so actually work in action. Um, um, the, any images that will relate to the brand of your business, basically, um, and headshots is included in that. Um, so, yeah. And then they can and then they have some nice imagery to use on their websites. Exactly. Because being in that in that digital world, I see a lot of really crazy photos on some people's websites that maybe should not be there. So it's right. nice to have that professional, you know, look. Right. So I'll come out and capture um, your entire business. So say, for instance, you're a hairdresser. I'm going to come out and take photos of you actually doing hair. I'm going to take pictures of the products you're selling. Um, yeah, any, anything that uh, the logo on, from the outside of your business the whole package, but it doesn't have to be that. If you just want certain parts um, done, if you just need headshots, I can just come in and do that. Awesome. What, what inspired you to start your own business? Um, I would say uh, my husband, Dean, inspired me to start my own business <laughs> okay. as well as family members. Uh, my brother is an entrepreneur. Dean's an entrepreneur, my husband. Um, and I just, um, honestly, I really like the flexibility of being able to spend more time with my family um, having my own schedule and uh, I live on a farm. So having more time to spend in my garden and to do farming things. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. Before we hopped on, you had mentioned that Dean went out hunting. I said, Oh, I'd like, is he gone for the weekend? She says, well, no, he's just, he's just in our backyard hunting. He'll be back, <laughs> yeah, back in a couple hours. Yeah. That's awesome. No, it's great. I mean, some, sometimes he goes away for moose hunting. He goes way up North, but uh, not this year. So it's good. <laughs> so let's give Dean a shameless plug. So Dean Grant owns Grant's Pest Control. He does. And Grant's Pest and Animal Control. Pest and Animal Control. And he, and he works in, uh, you know, Northern, I would almost say Northern Ontario. He's got a big area. Yeah. So if, if anybody listening to this has any sort of pest or animal control issues, you can always call um, uh, Dean's uh, pest and animal control. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how, how long has, has your business been running for now? Um, I've been in business since 2016. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, how has COVID impacted you? What, what changes are you seeing there? Um, I would say COVID, um, only negatively impacted me when it came to weddings this year. Uh, a lot of right. my weddings got canceled. But it's not so bad because they're going to be next year. So they just got rescheduled. So next year I'm going to be super busy every weekend, but it'll be good. Um, in a positive way, actually, um, I'm doing a lot of school photos right now because of the schools aren't providing that service this year. So I've been getting a lot of calls for families asking me to take uh, school photos of their children. So it's been good. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I know, I know in the business community, uh, your services are, are, you know, needed in a lot of different areas, mm -hmm. um, but I still go back to um, when they look for headshots or um, even action shots. I love the idea of someone's right. in a chair, having their hair done, taking those shots, putting them on their website. 
Um, so these are all the things that you provide. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, any sort of PSA for anybody out there in, in the market with COVID and what's going on? Anything like that? Um, sorry, sorry, say that again? Almost like a public service announcement. I mean, you're handling COVID. You've got safety protocols put in place. Mm -hmm. um, so what's that look like for you um, with, with, is there curbside pickup? So if you're going to an event and you're taking photos, how has COVID impacted you on that right. level? Sorry, you were fr frozen for a second. Um, okay. Yeah, um, so I actually deliver all my uh, um, images uh, digitally. So I have a website um, that I upload your entire album to. And from there, you have full print release. You can take your photos and download them to your computer. You can take them to the kiosk, um, you know, at the uh, Walmart and print them there if you like. Uh, any printing um, business, you can take them there. So I don't have to come in contact with people when it comes to delivering their photos. When I come on site, I'm in full mask, um, you know, whatever, whatever's needed, whatever the customer wishes me to do. Gotcha. Okay. So what is the uh, name of your website or the URL of your website? So it's hidden acres, uh, photography .net. Okay. Um, it's going to be .com very soon. I'm having a little bit of trouble switching it over, but it'll be soon. So, okay. And the best phone number for anybody to reach you at? Uh, 705-358-3811. I'm also on uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, under Hidden Acres Photography. You can find me there. Uh, you'd be able to show off all your stuff on, especially on Instagram. It would look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think I did see a few photos you shared just recently. That looked really sharp. So Thank you. Yeah. I've been trying to upload uh, a lot of my weddings that I've done in the past few years and get that on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you have to have any special permissions from the people that you've photo uh, photographed? Or? Uh, I normally, I send a print release um, or give them a print release um, for them to print my photos. And I also ask them permission to post as well. Um, you know, cause some people, they don't want, they don't want their photos posted, especially when it comes to portoir photos. You don't want that yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, not, so, uh, that's not going online. No, those, and I don't advertise for that because uh, I, I, you know, you can't, it's really hard to find people that want to show that off. So, oh, <laughs> um, but as far as uh, weddings and things, I ask before I post and um, usually everyone's okay with it. There's been a couple of times where people, um, you know, they don't have social media, so they don't want to be on social media and that's fine. And I totally understand that. Yeah, that's awesome. Chelsea, thank you so much for hopping on. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll get this uh, posted and hopefully we get some business people looking at it and needing your services and we'll go from there. So thank Great. you. Great. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. Okay. Talk to you again. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.